create a second copy of the layer here, just so I have my original there, um, is you can, it's a combination of two features. You can use any selection tool you wish. In this example, I'm going to choose the lasso tool, which, you know, as the name suggests, allows me to just draw a circle um, or shape around an object. I like it because, of course, I can just kind of be a little bit random with it. So I can draw something like if I want to get rid of these rocks at the bottom of the, the, the water there, I can then use the patch tool to just drag the selection to an area and it does a really nice job of matching things up for me. So if I'm trying to get rid of all of these, these rock formations that are underneath the water here, and then again, go to your patch tool and then just select an area where that rock doesn't exist. And just to, you know, again, if you found something like this to be distracting, you could just uh, use this tool to just select objects and get rid of those those background or those those undesirable aspects of the image. You might run into a little bit of problems towards the edge of things, but again, you know, a lot of times you're given photography and you don't have a lot of choice as to what you're doing with it. So, you know, it, maybe there's something inappropriate in the image. I've certainly run into that. If I'm trying to convey uh, a certain uh, aspect to what I'm teaching, and it just simply doesn't uh, exist in that photograph, or something is there that you don't want to be in the photograph. A little trickier when you start getting close to the objects that you want to keep. So you might have to be, you might have to zoom in a little bit and be a little bit more precise with what you select. That's pretty acceptable. So you can clearly see um, how you can use this to, to your advantage as well. So again, I'll just select the rest of these there. Great way to very quickly edit a photo to suit your needs, you know. So if I zoom right out, well, a couple more over here. Let's get rid of those. I'll just do it in one shot here. There we go. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.